This is brought to you by the Electronic Church of God, Arizona. Thank you. Welcome to October 14th, 2007. The first work day of the week that they call Sunday. Well, brethren, let's go over and check right into the Lord Cares Ministry. One year with the Lord, day 287, 287. Jesus tells the parable of the wicked farmers, Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 through 46. Also in Mark chapter 12, verses 1 through 12, and Luke chapter 20, verses 19 through 19. Now listen to this story. A certain landowner planted a vineyard with the hedge around it and built a platform for the watchman, then leased the vineyard to some farmers on a share crop basis and went away to live in another country. At the time of the grape harvest, he sent his agents to the farmers to collect his share. But the farmers attacked his men and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Then he sent a larger group of men to collect for him. But the results were the same. Finally, the owner sent his son, thinking they would surely respect him. But when the farmers saw the son coming, they said to themselves, Here comes the heir to the estate. Come on, let's kill him and get it for ourselves. So they dragged him out of the vineyard and killed him. When the owner returns, what do you think he will do to the farmers? The Jewish leaders replied, He will put the wicked men to a horrible death and lease the vineyard to another who will pay him promptly. Then Jesus asked them, Did you ever read the scriptures? The stone rejected by the builders has been made the honored cornerstone. How remarkable. What an amazing thing the Lord has done. What I mean is that the kingdom of God shall be taken away from you and given to a nation that will give God his share of the crop. All who stumble on this rock of truth shall be broken, but those it falls on will be scattered as dust. When the chief priest and other Jewish leaders realized that Jesus was talking about them, that they were the farmers of the story. They wanted to get rid of him, but were afraid to try because of the crowds, for they accepted Jesus as a prophet. Jesus referred to himself as the stone rejected by the builders, although he would be rejected by most of the Jewish leaders. He would become the cornerstone of the new building, the church, Acts chapter 4, verses 11 through 12. Likewise, Jesus' life and teaching would be the church foundation, stumbling stone. The characters of this story is easily identified. Even the religious leaders got the point. The owner of the vineyard was God. The vineyard was Israel. The vine dressers were the religious leaders. The servants of the prophets and priests God sent to Israel. The son of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. The others were Gentiles. Jesus' parable indirectly answered the religious leaders' question about his authority. It also showed them that he knew about their plan to kill him. There was no difference between those who ignored Christ and those who refused to believe. All who stumble over Jesus, the cornerstone, will be judged in the end. When sharing your faith, keep 
to focus on God and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. He is the only one who matters. Fear God. Keep His commandments. His. A Philippian pro, uh, pilgrim. A workman for God. A friend of Christ. And brother, if you want to even reject Christ, get down on your knees. Repent. Have faith. Follow his ways. Be obedient to him. And ask for forgiveness. And you will be forgiven. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close the Lord Cares program for another day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. If you would like to donate to this ministry, please mail to COGA 13131 West Tucky Lane, Glendale, Arizona 85307. This would be very much appreciated in keeping this ministry going. Thank you. Produced for you by Forrest Grove. Thank you.